Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha if it is your first time here and in today's video I'm going to be doing kind of like a quick easy grungy fall makeup look using all drugstore products. I have a few new things, I have a few like kind of favorite drugstore things and let's just jump into it. Okay so I already have my brows on. For my brows I used this CoverGirl, uh, what is this called? The CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I do really like this. I kind of like go back and forth of whether I want to do my brows on camera because it takes me about like 10-15 minutes to do my brows and I kind of feel like it's just like a little boring. So if you guys are interested in seeing like a full brow video, like I can do one brow like kind of a full dramatic brow and the other brow just kind of like my easy wispy brow, I could definitely do that. But just for like an everyday regular makeup look, I don't feel like I need to put my brows in every video. So brows are already on. I'm going to jump right into my eyes. I'm really excited for this palette I have. This is the NYX Modern Dreamer palette. It's so pretty. Let me open it up for you. So many fun colors, so many shimmers, and I think I want to do kind of like a rusty, grungy, kind of easy smoky eye. So I'm going to jump right in with that. I'm not going to prime my eyes today because... I just don't feel like it like I keep watching these videos of like professional makeup artists and I notice that like a lot of them don't actually prime the eyes and so and because I'm going for kind of like a messy easy look today I'm like skip it I don't need to prime so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this is a Luxie 213 eye shading brush and I'm gonna go in to this palette and I think I'm going to take this color right here this kind of like tomato-y red orange color and I'm going to mix it with this one right here which is kind of just like the muted version of that one so I'm going to take this guy and this guy right here and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid using this Lexi brush I haven't used this palette yet so I'm pretty excited it looks really pretty and I've seen in a few videos people using it but for me myself I haven't oh let me get let me put my hair back so it is officially fall Time for the devil ears to make an appearance again. And let's just get going with this look. I'm feeling very red and rusty today, if you can't tell by my sweater. So first, I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with this uh, BH Cosmetics 8, number 8 brush. It's just like a nice basic kind of blending shading brush. And I'm going to start blending out the edges. So this look doesn't need to be super perfect and super precise because I am going for like a more grungy kind of smoky eye. You want it to be just like a little bit more messy. It's like perfectly undone, perfectly messy, you know. So just without picking up any extra product, just going right in and start blending out the edges. Because we packed so much on the lid, you'll have enough product in the beginning to kind of just move it around, blend it out, start building up your shape. I think I want to like do something with this mirror. My husband bought me this mirror on Amazon. It's just like a little... Oh, it's so dirty. Gross. It's just like a little basic hand mirror, but I don't know. I kind of want to like glue crystals onto it or paint it or something. I just, I can't decide. Hmm. Okay, so now that we have just the initial kind of like blend out on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack some more color on using that same brush. Keeping it lower, keeping it in the lid area. And then back in with this guy. Cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with just a blending brush and I'm going to take the palette. And I think I'm going to... I'm going to dip into this color right here, this kind of like tan 
brown color and I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush and just start working on the edges, kind of adding just a little bit of a transition. And then one more time, just kind of adding the color. And that's it. Super easy, super quick. Just like a nice kind of just blow out of color. Cute. Yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to jump into the other eye real fast. Same exact process. I will say this eyeshadow palette kind of has like a weird smell to it. A little like chemically, a little bit like feet. It's strange for sure. So here we are. Super easy, super pretty, just this basic grungy kind of blowout look. So let's put this palette down and let's move on to the face. So I don't really have like a drugstore primer, but I did just do my skincare, so my skin is pretty good. If you have any drugstore primers that you recommend, definitely put them in the comments down below because that's like one thing from the drugstore. I feel like I've never really found is like a good primer and personally I don't really need like a pore filling, I don't need like a mattifying primer, like I like oils, I like stuff that's going to make my skin really luminous, really bright. So let me know if there's any drugstore primers that you like for sure. So next let's go on with the skin, sip my tea, okay so I want to do kind of just like a basic easy skin so I'm gonna go in with this right here this is the covergirl CG smoothers hydrating makeup you guys have seen me use this before this is basically like a skin tint but it does make your skin really luminous and it covers up just slightly so I literally like to just take I'm gonna take this uh, elf buffing foundation brush and I'm gonna just do it like this like this Boom, boom, that is more than enough. And then I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. brush and just start working it around. This brush is so soft and for an e.l.f. brush, I think it was like $5 and it's such a good high quality brush. Like I would say that it's the same quality as like a IT cosmetics brush or like a Sigma brush, it's just super good quality, so. Just kind of getting this on. I also like to use this with my fingers a lot. And really I'm not using it as much for coverage as I am just to kind of add a little bit of a luminosity to my skin. What was I thinking with these big ass earrings right now?
All right, let me get a little bit closer look just to make sure it's all blended out really nicely. Boom. So you can tell that really didn't add any coverage. Like it is a skin tint, but it does kind of moisturize my face and it does give me like a nice luminosity and a nice base. And like I said before, I think this is perfect for people that are on the go and for people that just want like a tiny bit because you can use it with your fingers and it because it's so light, it's kind of hard to like mess up, you know? So next things next is some concealer. I'm going to go in with this Pacifica. This is the Pacifica Natural Liquid Cover Full Coverage Long Lasting Concealer. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Cool. So let's just start by taking a little bit on my chin. And I'm really kind of using this only to spot conceal and do just a little bit of my under eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this Morphe Y9 brush. I've been really liking this brush when I'm like in a hurry and I need to like blend out my concealer super fast. Like boom. Already blended out. Okay, so for my under eyes, I do like using the brush as well, but I like to go in with a sponge when it gets just a little bit closer. So I'm going to go in and just kind of add a little bit of this. And then first go in with the brush to kind of just spread it around, get it where I want it. And then I'm going to add just a dot more right in this area, which is where the most of my darkness is. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. And I don't worry about getting it like too close up on my lash line because the fact I'm going to put shadow on there anyways, it's kind of just like a waste of product and a little pointless for me to like push that concealer all the way up. But I'm just going to cover that area with some shadow. So get that blended out and I'm going to set it before it starts creasing and getting weird. So from the drugstore, that's also another thing is I don't find that there's like a lot of really good drugstore powders. So that's another thing. Let me know. I'm going to take this powder from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. finishing powder in the shade Fair Light. And I'm going to go in with my Dose of Colors brush. You already know. I just add a, just a tiny bit of powder right in there just so it doesn't get all creasy. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put just a little bit in my smile lines. Well, bam with and without concealer. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. Same exact process. Are you guys ready for Halloween? Are you excited for Halloween? I am excited to like decorate my house and just for like Halloween in general, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not huge on like myself doing Halloween looks and Halloween makeup. One, it's really hard. <laughs> Two, I don't like seeing, like personally, I don't like seeing myself all like bloody and gory and like stuff like that. Like I don't like seeing that on my own face. So I like never do stuff like that. And then I feel like it's like boring. And last year I did like three different looks. I did a skull. I did um, like a patchwork look. I can't even remember what the other thing I did was, but I did something and I don't know why, but it's just like, it stresses me out so hard. And personally, like with Halloween, I like funny costumes. Like I like, I'm that girl. I either like to dress really sexy on Halloween or I just like to be funny and I like funny costumes. So yeah, like personally myself, I'm way more into like the funny costumes than I am like 
the crazy Halloween makeup and gory stuff. Like, I love seeing it on other people. And some people are so talented in, like, the special effects makeup and the Halloween makeup that it's almost, like, kind of intimidating to even do anything about it. So... I think for Halloween, I'm kind of going to take a different route this year for the month of October. I think I'm going to have a lot more kind of vlog style videos on my channel, kind of more like decorate with me, um, Halloween snacks, my favorite Halloween movies, um, stuff like that versus like Halloween looks. I think I'm going to do like a work friendly Halloween look and just kind of like an easy like into the spirit Halloween look. Because myself personally, I'm just like, I'm not the Halloween makeup girl. And there's so many people, so many people on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter that are so amazing at Halloween and do so many amazing Halloween tutorials that it's kind of like, let me just stay in my lane and do the things that I want to do. So don't expect Halloween makeup for me this year. Expect like fun, colorful Halloween makeup, but don't expect bloody and gory don't expect like crazy characters. I'm definitely going to hit you guys with a few more vlogs this year. They will be Halloween themed. I think I'm going to do like a decorate with me. I think I'm going to do like my favorite scary movies. Stuff along those lines versus like skull makeup. Bloody gory scary makeup. Like whew, it just overwhelms me. And I just like I can't do the bloody gory makeup on myself. Like I cannot. I won't be able to get that image out of my head. Like I will bring nightmares into myself you know. So, we got our base on, we're looking good, we're looking a little flat, let's go ahead and start to bronze. I'm going to go in with the Physicians, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, this is just like old school staple of a bronzer, I'm going to take the same brush I always do, this is the Morphe M527, and just start bronzing myself up. Okay, so we are bronzed up. Now I'm going to go in with the blush, which I kind of like to do like a really heavy blush with this look. So I'm going to go in with a few different blush products. The first thing I'm going to take is this ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Blush. And this is actually the one they did in collaboration with Bretman Rock. And it's in the shade Stop It. It's like a really nice kind of like rusty tomato-y red. And I'm going to take this uh, Morphe M405 brush, just dig it right into there, and I'm going to go heavy with the blush today. Okay, so I just realized that I haven't been recording this whole time. I don't know how long it's been, so I'm going to kind of just recap what I've done. That is so frustrating. I literally just looked down and was like... Uh, but okay so I'm just gonna do a little recap because I have no clue where I left off so I went in with this ColourPop super shock chic and stop it and then I went right over that and used this makeup geek blush in chivalry and I put that kind of all over my cheeks all over the temples this is a really pretty matte blush I highlighted using the elf shimmering highlight in star glow and then I went ahead and finished up my under eyes just using the same colors I used for the rest of my eyes. And I just set my face using this Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Spray. And I was saying that I do really like this spray. I just wish that the mist was a little bit finer as well as it kind of smells like hairspray. It reminds me of like, like white rain or something, you know. But it smells really good. I really like it. I don't think it makes my makeup last a whole lot longer, but I think it adds like a nice luminosity to my face. And now we're back on track. I have literally no clue where that ended off. That's so frustrating. I had no idea that that happened. So what we have left now is mascara and lip. So for my mascara, I'm going to go in and use this, the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. So I've used this mascara a few times now, and I definitely have an opinion about it. Let me curl my lashes while I'm talking. So, so with this mascara, 
the first time I used it, I hated it. It like hurt my lashes, it like was like sharp, it hurt my lashes, I didn't like it. And I've used it a few more times. I do think it's really pretty. My biggest complaint is that it does kind of flake throughout the day and you get little like black flakes everywhere. So that's kind of like the only downfall, but it's like a nice tube of mascara. I'm gonna use the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this on now. I need to get like real close for a mascara. And I found the key to this mascara is I'm used to like getting right down into my lash line and kind of getting in there. Don't do that with this mascara. The wand is plastic, so it's kind of sharp and it kind of like hurts my lashes when I do that. So if I kind of stay almost to the end and build up, I find that it looks really pretty. All right, mascara is on. You can see that that kind of just gives my lashes like a nice wispy effect. I know you can thicken it up if you want to, but because it kind of flakes throughout the day, I like just doing like one good coat and that's it. So all we have left now is the lip. So I have a few different products for my lip here. I'm not sure what direction I want to go. I kind of want to keep it a little bit monochrome, kind of the same of what I got going on. I think I'm going to go in with this. This is the NYX. Lots of NYX in this video. I clearly just hauled a bunch of it from Target. This is the NYX Lingerie Push Up Lip Long Lasting Lipstick Kind of Lip Crown in the shade Seduction. Kind of smells like Vicks. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw this on. No lip liner. Because it is in like a pencil form, it's a lot easier to put it on without a lip liner. God, it smells really strong like Vicks. I wonder if it's like a plumping. It doesn't say anything about plumping on it, but it smells very menthol-y, very like Tiger Balm, Vicks. Not even like really eucalyptus -y, just like very menthol. Alright, and that is that lip by itself. Cute. It is kind of tingly on my lips. I'm going to have to look this up and see if it's like a lip plumper. Hmm. And then I'm going to go right over that with this also by NYX. This is the NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer. And this is in the shade Camel. I have been loving this. It is so thick though. Like you only need a tiny bit. It has a very similar uh, wand to the Fenty. And this smells like vanilla mint or something. So I just want to use a little bit of it. Get it on there. You can see it's like super pigmented. It's really thick. And honestly, I'm just going to do a tiny bit. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of work that around. Pretty. So here is the lip. Really perfect for fall, I think, lip. Let's take this out. My hair a little shake Ooh, fix that and this is the look like I said pretty easy I think kind of more monochrome grungy fall look a look like this is perfect for fall it has all the fall tones in it really easy to put on I really like the whole monochrome I love this lip I love this color of lip it's kind of like a brown red kind of like a burnt color so that's it thank you guys so much for watching as always leave in the comment box down below any product recommendations you have for me any video ideas you have for me as well as don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms on instagram it's at natasha josette beauty on twitter it's at natasha josette i post here on youtube every tuesday and friday so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.